sad when you open the last case. <laughs> Another year of privation, I guess. Biggest drought in the history of the West. <clears throat> what nectar? Shot of whiskey, Arizona? Uh, progress has ruined the best things in life. No one's willing to devote the time it takes to do things right. Whole world's on the run and no reason for it. Arizona, you and me gotta stay on our guard or we'll be caught up in this mad world yet. We got company. Uh, if I'd known folks was coming, I'd have washed my neck. <laughs> well, boy, what'd you bring us? Brung vittles and whiskey. It's for Arizona, a present from Senor Gonzalez Moreno. <laughs> the future was never brighter. Give me a hand with this precious and fragile cargo, boy. I got a private message for Arizona. Is that... that really him? I'm not at home. You heard. He said he's gone out. So get busy and unload that merchandise and hit the trail. Only the padron said the message is very important. That bloodsucker is your padron, not ours. Senor Gonzalez Moreno says this may be the last of the whiskey. Gad, sir, that's extortion. He also said to tell you that Chico got out of jail a month ago. And Senor Moreno will pay $10,000 if Arizona will protect him from Chico. What in tarnation? Hold your fire, gentlemen. For heaven's sake, don't shoot. There must be a misunderstanding. We're simple, God-fearing, peace-loving folks that ain't never hurt a fly. Poor but honest citizens. Innocent as newborn lamb. Button your lip, Patty. Yes, sir. In town, they're saying you got a lot of loot hit out here somewhere. Why, that's just a pack of lies, gentlemen. Ain't a grain of truth to it. I ain't of no consequence whatsoever to no one. I'm just a poor old desert rat. Gentlemen, I'm so poor I ain't even got one dollar in my Levi's. He never gave me nothing. And I slave for it. Shut up. Yes, sir. Oh, you get what he got. <laughs> Stopping lead is a pretty silly way of getting killed. And when the lead slinger's in his underwear, you ought to die of shame. Yeah, the youth of America ain't what he used to be. Hedge. <laughs> All they can do is fire and fall back, dead. And I saw up the holes. In my day. What are you after? There's a there's a poster back in town with a reward for you. Dead or alive. What? Who? Arizona cold. Someone put a real good price on his head? How much? Plenty, a thousand dollars. We've never been so insulted in our lives. Well, let's say they've lost their sense of values. Why do they want him? That ain't none of my business, Gramps. I hear there's a reward posted, so I pick up my gun and I go. Go ahead, but leave your pants here. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Hurry up, will you? Arizona's pretty lazy. He only speaks once, second time he shoots. 
Yeah, you're lucky to get off so cheap. All it's costing you is a pair of worn-out jeans. We're riding into Blackstone. I want to know what's going on. Riding what? We ain't got no horses. You think those idiots walk down here? Yeah, you're right. What should I tell Senor Moreno? That I'll give it some thought. Better load up on the vintage stuff. Never know what kind of slop they're serving in town. I guess I gotta get my gun. I guess I gotta shoot someone. Bang, bang. Hey, Ruby. I got a feeling something must have happened around here. Yeah. I understand why you pulled the trigger the first time. Even if it was a real pity to bust a nice 44 pistol when it was enough to blow off his head. Put straw in front of a fire and it burns. And if it ain't burned, it signifies the straw's only just been put there. Yeah, but that's only $170 a head, divvying $1,000 six ways. Business must be in a real sad condition in these parts if folks is willing to risk meeting their makers for only $170 a head. What's your moniker? Most people call me the buzzard. And him? Such a handsome lad. Some folks said rub, rub the pennies off a dead man's eyes, but it ain't true. My pa didn't need the cash anyway. Not where he was going. Who are you working for? I'm a lawman, huh? Oh? I was here with five of my friends when I saw you arriving. Plum crazy of you to come back, wasn't it? Thank. Yeah. When you was here earlier, you you made a real bonfire. And you think I burn out this station? You was recognized by the only stagecoach passenger that survived. <laughs> Where is that bald-faced lion sidewinder? You, you got no call to get riled up with me. I'm only doing my duty, same as any good citizen. Excuse me, if I fail in my duty as a highway robber, and let you live. For now, anyway. Here, this will disinfect you. Hurry, one. Hurry, one. Why don't we find some other nice, quiet little town? We got enough cash to lay in a 20-year supply of whiskey. But in this place, they hang you first. <laughs> then they ask you if you got anything to say in your own self-defense. Just take a look at that branch. It knows the rope, all right. What's more, when they string me up, you'll have a 40-year stock of whiskey. Yeah. You know I'm not by nature a solitary drinker. <laughs> Arizona Cola.
I, I'm really not to blame, you know that. It was the sheriff down at Tucson gave the order. The deal is you leave me in peace. And you'll have the real killer in 24 hours. When he takes off that gun and leaves it behind him, it means he's mad. Real mad. Clean through. You don't have to wait much longer. Arizona Colts headed this way. I got time, I can wait. But his runs out on the hanging tree tomorrow. What brings you to town? We're minding our own business. You mind yours. <laughs> Gone dry. Pour us out a nice double. I'll take one. No. I ordered a double. Two. It's all right. We can stay here. Hey, Arizona, people are saying now you got a price in your head, you turn yellow, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's what they're saying, mister. But there's one imbecile that isn't convinced, so he sends out his cheap gunslingers to bushwhack Arizona. But they're all lying dead in the posting station. For each of those dead ones, there are other men still living who think you have gotten too rich. Cash value of my head's a thousand dollars. Willing to risk it at poker? You're better off picking up a few dollars at poker. Instead of from Alvaro Gonzalez Marino, that'd bring you nothing but bad luck, you know. From where I'm sitting, it looks to me like the bad luck is headed your way, Arizona Colt. Hmm. Let's play four-handed. You tried that before. Might as well quit pussy footin' and start locking horns. I'm standing. Two cards. I'll pick your thousand and another hundred. Raise another. Hmm. Up a thousand. Call. Three aces enough, or do you want to think about it? You cheat, amigo. That's a dangerous word to say, without proving it. You know I can. I dealt you two aces, not three. You count badly. Pay me the reward, plus a thousand dollars. I dealt you only two aces, which ain't hardly enough to beat three queens. Queens lose to aces. This time, Queens win. No violence, dear lad. Where is your pistol? Try pulling yours, you'll find out. 
I won't fall for that trick. When I draw my gun, I want to know where you're keeping yours. You know, Chico, your alibi is so weak. It makes you out a coward as well as a cheat. You mean you were not armed? A log-padding citizen don't need a gun. Even though now and then you run into some four-flusher who's just begging to be taught a good lesson. <laughs> Just to put the record straight. Duck, Arizona! Stop it! Please, you'll wreck the saloon! Please go outside! Please do your brawling out in the road, you hear? Good pickings here. Don't move in the name of the law. The first man who disobeys goes to jail. Didn't I say don't move or else? I guess I'm a slave to impulse. Hey, mister, I said no one moves, didn't I? You can put these two in jail along with the condemned man. But I... But what did I do? A poor old fellow, innocent as a newborn kitten, being thrown in the pokey like a common criminal. All the disgrace of it all. Who pays? There's a lot of breakage. If you look in at my office, Miss Sheila, there's a thousand dollar tag on that bottle of whiskey. Thousand dollars? Thousand dollars? That's fine. Just fine. What's he accused of? Kidnapping, homicide. He's an outlaw. And tomorrow we're going to hang him. And are we condemned to die of thirst? Not a drop of whiskey. Nothing but water. Water. Oh, excuse me. How you feeling there? I'm sorry, but you asked for it. You gotta play by the rules. Anyway, you listen to me. You're not rotten enough to work for a dirty, low-down dog like Chico. No, sir. You milk drinkers? Chico's much worse than you'd believe. That's why I work for him. Ten percent of what he steals is double the fifty percent that others steal. Simple arithmetic, see? Well, he doesn't do so good when Arizona's around. Chico don't have to worry about him anymore. Tomorrow... <laughs> but Arizona's always with me, and we ain't never attacked no stagecoaches. He was seen and identified by an eyewitness. Huh? The judge condemned him right away. He was seen and identified, eh? What I'd give if I could just get my hands on that lying eyewitness. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Buzzard, why didn't you say you're the state's witness? Marshal, I just woke up inside there. Well, I could have spared you that. You confirm your deposition? It was him, right? Um, yes, Marshal, I have to confirm. I have to. You dirty rat! You're as rotten as Chico. And to think I gave you one of my last bottles of whiskey. Serves you right if it gives you tomain poisoning. Uh, no hard feelings, eh, amigo? Let's go, buzzard. You heard what he told that two-bit marshal? Yeah, I heard. Well then, don't you realize you're about to hang? I'll give it some thought. <laughs> tomorrow morning at daybreak. 
All right, relaxing. Till I see his toes turn up. You stay right here until he's swinging in the breeze at dawn. You know what job we got to do. You know where to join us later. All right? Yeah, sure. I'll give it some thought. I'll give it some thought. Arizona hasn't learned how to say anything else in all the years I've kept him on payroll. He's given you a hand more than once. But with Chico out of prison, I need both his hands. Meanwhile, he's gone to Blackstone Hill. He's gone there in spite of the price they put on his head. You've already got 20 armed men on the payroll, Father. What are you worried about? You know nothing about men, Paloma. When I sent Chico to jail, he swore vengeance against us. He wouldn't dare come here. Good night. That man will dare. And if Arizona won't face Chico... Chico? Boys are all here and raring to go. We wait for the signal. As soon as we see the flames, we ride down on the ranch. We capture it easy in the confusion. Vamos, muchachos. Vamos. Some of you stay on guard at the wall. Don't leave the gates unguarded. Don't hurt him, beautiful. Your father is my hand with the golden egg. I let him live to produce more gold, then I come back to clean out the coop again. The place is in our hands now, Chico. Where's the gold? In the attic. 
Through this way. How did you find that out? Someone told you. I have my people everywhere. Come here, you. In the house of this vulture, you risk getting moldy, Paloma. Today you begin to live. You're going with me. Gonna be on schedule? Why not? Who's to stop it? He ain't missed a necktie party in 60 years. I seen the scum of the Southwest die bleating for mercy like sheep going to the slaughter. Only I never did see a hard case like this. Here tell he snored the whole night through like the hog that just ate the farmer's mother-in-law. Yes, sir, there should be a hanging to remember. Arizona Colt, we're ready. Ain't no reason to take it so hard, Marshal. Everybody's toes turn up sooner or later. Start walking, Arizona, and keep your hands in sight. My old partner. Don't wake him up. He's delicate, and it would be a dangerous shock to anyone's system seeing this bunch of dimwits. Drag the drunken bum out so I can watch his old buddy dancing on thin air. Tie his wrist together. Wake up, you stinking old goat. <laughs> Have a little more respect for your betters, peasant. All right, bring him out. Move. Take off his hat and belt. Arizona, my poor friend, this is a black day. Oh, let me embrace for the last time my dearest friend, uh, my little brother. Poor me, old, without a friend in the world. Pull him away from there. I ain't finished. Unhand me, Violet. Oh, better to have drowned in a barrel of whiskey than live to witness this evil day. Get him into the saddle. Turn me loose, Dracula. You'll rue the memory of this infamous act, Marshal, to spark a life in a noble spirit like Arizona Cole. In the name of the people of the United States and the authority. Where's the Marshal? Marshal! Chico attacked the ranch of Alvaro Moreno. Right. It was a massacre. We gotta go after him. That vermin will swing for this, you'll see. But first we'll do justice here, and then I'll form a posse to get Chico. Well, they robbed two cases of gold. They couldn't travel fast. They were all that way. Get on with the hanging. Whip that horse. <laughs> Men, let's get this posse underway. I want volunteers armed and in the saddle and ready to ride out. And we're going to beat every square inch of that desert all the way to the mountains. Forward! Okay. Okay. Right. Go. Go. show I've been to. No, who will get drunk with me? Who will take care of a, a poor, defenseless old man? The great gunfighter. It's a mangum like a side of beef, yeah. <laughs>
In a minute or two, you get down. Get me down. There just isn't any sense going on play acting with the audience gone. Let's revive me right now. Faster! Hey, you! Don't you know the law? He's supposed to hang there till sundown. We're just poor people. We don't want to make a spectacle of ourselves. I said to myself, I said, what's done is done. I'll just cut him down and go. You can. He can't. I wouldn't say that again. That hook was a stroke of genius, my boy. <laughs> Yes, sir. If it hadn't blocked that knot. Yeah. But dying would have been less tiring. Did you hear? That pig of a Chico practically wiped out Moreno's ranch. He thought you were dead. It's the only reason he dared do it. You can hear as well as see plenty up there. And your brain works better, too. What'd you think about? What's best for me. Huh? I thought I'd drop in and get my pistol, Joe. But you're not alive. You can't. You can't. And why not? Your duty was to string me up. You fulfilled your duty, and now we're all square again, Joe. You know, Willie, I think it's about time for me to go courting. Pardon you. I must be dreaming. You made a real impression. I never knew you were to hang. The minute I saw you at first sight, you struck me. Listen, mister, I'm glad I don't have you on my conscience, but if you only came back to make a fool of me, you're going to get it again. Not so loud, little lady. You and I are going to make some children. I decided that right away. <laughs> This calls for a double celebration. <coughs> Best make the first six boys. I'm sorry, but I got $10,000 to be delivered to you. Alvaro Gonzalez Marino. That's for your pistol. Bring him Chico's scalp, you get another 20000 And if you're able to return all the gold, 50000 I've changed my profession now. I'm the father of six sons. Here's the dollars. If you don't want them, you'll have to return them to Moreno. He told me not to come back. Come here. Hey! <laughs> it's one thing to show that you're honest. But it's never a good idea to go against fate. <laughs> you wouldn't think of touching it, would you, Arizona? Why? Would you like it better if I go earn it? You take back those dollars to Moreno. Or we're through before we begin. You heard her. No. <clears throat> Somebody around here is crazy. It ain't me. All right, take it away. It's impossible that they wouldn't have left any kind of a trace anywhere. 
cartload with gold should have left deep ruts. And what's more, they couldn't have got very far by now. There's only one man who can find my gold, and it's not you. If you mean Arizona, I strung him up this morning for homicide. Don't tell bad jokes, Marshal. Imagine Arizona letting himself be hanged. When you hang by the neck for a quarter of an hour, with your feet dancing on thin air, you're going to die even if your name is Arizona Colton. Yeah, here comes two bottle wheelie. He should be able to answer a few questions. Howdy, Marshal. I ran into your posse that's getting themselves nothing but saddle sores looking for Chico. <laughs> Them volunteers are just wasting their time. I'll find him sooner or later. He just can't disappear off of the face of the earth. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Only I'm damn sure you ain't never gonna find Chico in his bunch. Who told you that, God? No. It was Arizona Colt. <laughs> mm. Nothing doing. He won't work for you. Who? Won't work for Moreno. Arizona Colt. Who else are we talking about? He's lost his head over that sweet young thing in the saloon. Listen, big fatty. Arizona Colt lost his head, but he lost it on the gallows. <laughs> I'll double the offer. I said I'll double the offer, but he has got to begin immediately. He didn't say he'd give it some thought. He just said, no. When I get back to town, I'll get to the bottom of this. Don't worry. Tell him Chico has kidnapped my daughter, and someone has got to help me. You got the marshal <laughs> and his posse of volunteers. <laughs> Here, get up. <laughs> but you had no compunctions about drinking my whiskey. Parasite, you're the one that ought to be hung. I got no compunctions. I'm not telling you. Your whiskey ain't fit for pigs. <laughs> Truly your last bottle, unless you tell me where that partner of yours is bedded down. He's in hell or heaven. God only knows. Stop that wheelie. He saw the pair of you walking down Main Street two hours after the hanging. What are you, a professional witness? Uh, no wonder they call you the buzzard. Listen, stupid little man, I know what you're doing out here. It was Moreno who told her there was a big price on my head. No, I only went there to return his $10,000. So Arizona refused to work for Moreno, huh? Let go! Well, we're back. It's years since I've been forced to eat that much dust. Start setting up the drinks there on the house for the whole posse. Well, what's wrong? Pour them out. Don't stand there mooning. Every man in the posse's dying of thirst. We rode a hundred miles around that desert for nothing. You see my friend by any chance? My God. How did you manage to escape? Intelligence, Dad. But I guess you don't know the meaning of the word, do you? That's no way to begin with, my Paul. Can't understand at all why he shouldn't be delighted to know I'll give him intelligent grandchildren. How dare you take such liberties with my daughter, sir? Sheila, maybe you can explain. It's clear as spring water, ain't nothing to explain. Well, well, it's a marshal. Never saw you bashful before. Come on in. Ain't nothing to be nervous about. Just a little exchange of views among friends. He fired six times, Marshal. Got an empty gun. Ain't empty now. That free-thinking man, Arizona Colt, salutes you. Where are you going? To find an old sponge. 
You here again, Chico? <laughs> you filthy bandit, what are you after this time? Why, senor? You didn't think I was going to leave the gold here for you, you old fool. <laughs> the gold here? <laughs> there, all covered over under the donkey heap, and you and your marshal been dancing around it all day. <laughs> senor Alvaro Gonzalez Moreno, kindly tell these low characters that Arizona quit. And I only came here to return your $10,000. Never fear, amigo. Arizona will avenge you. What do you mean, you louse? Try telling the truth. Arizona's not working for you. <laughs> hey, just don't let it upset you. Uh, miserable liar, Moreno. This dung heap offends my delicate nose. Vamos, amigos. <laughs> Arizona will begin with you, Moreno. He'll make you pay for this. Ah! <laughs> it's sickening. Oh. It's your whiskey. Oh. Well, I'm waiting. What's the story? Chico caught the bottle, Willie. They beat him and kicked him in the face. And now they'll kill him. You must go and kill them first, all of them. The gold was hidden there under that town. Only this time they left tracks wide and deep. You can catch up with those bastards. Massacre everyone. Avenge the two of us. Well, Arizona. Fifty thousand dollars and banknotes of five dollars only. And your partner? You're not that clever, Arizona. I know you'll kill Chico without even getting one dollar. I'm only going to say this twice. 50,000 greenbacks. Banknotes of five dollars only. I propose a toast to that bastard Arizona and his fat friend who's trembling like a pig at the slaughter. <laughs> you should show more respect for a poor old soul like me. I'm a nothing. Even less than nothing. But the day you face Arizona Colt, you'll be nothing too. I'll tear out your insides and make you eat them unless you tell me what that bastard's planning to do. To get his hands on the gold and pour it back onto the coffers of that skunk Moreno. I said this right from the beginning, and I'll keep saying it. Arizona turned down cold, the offer that Moreno made. But that hyena let you believe the contrary, hoping Arizona would kill you without being paid a penny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like you more and more. And one way I can show my affection for you is to set up a couple of poles right here for your friend. Look out, Chico. If he does get here, you want to know where he'll put those poles? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm afraid of him? Let him see this. <laughs> <laughs> So asked for it. Not dividing her up, eh, Chico? Why do you ask? Are you so sure I will divide the rest? Huh. I'm afraid that maybe we ain't gonna divide much of anything. When a certain gunslinger called uh, Arizona arrives.
think you can make it to the river? I gotta make it. Chico sees us, he'll cut us both into steaks. I know, dry it out. Looks like I gotta brew up some new blood. Must have lost about a gallon. Drink this. Hurry. They hit me over the head. Why not come with me, amigo? Hurry, or I'll give the alarm. I'm crazy to be doing this. Come with me. Chico will hang you by the ears. Idiot. I can't wait any longer. Help! <laughs> Real Southern hospitality. Hey, the prisoner's escaping! Stop or I'll shoot! Chico! Chico! Two bottle Willie got away! Don't take your eyes off those chests of gold! The rest of you come with me! Fled for one day, no? <laughs> he must have got away alone. The buzzard might have seen something before he got knocked out. It's me, Willie. It's me, Arizona. Now then, he has three bullets in his carcass, all mortal wounds, without considering the hemorrhage. He's still alive, but he can't last. He should have been dead a long time ago. I'll see if I can oblige this medical jackass. I just dealt myself in. Where's Chico? Stop talking. Making him speak will hasten the end. Black Rocks. The abandoned ranch. Still beaten regular. You're foolish if you think you can take Chico and his band alone. I'll be back. Uh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake. Guess it was pity that drove him to let Willie go. 
Waste of time, seems like. Since we shot him down, before he could do any talking. Maybe he could still talk. Maybe Arizona found him. Letting him get away was the only way to keep Arizona from coming here. Traitor! Stop that, Chico! I said, stop that. Speed it up, Bigley. You heard the boss. The senora wants a bath. Ha! The senora. She'll make him take it. Since she's got to stick close, I'd say she means to spare her nose. <laughs> hey, Bigley. What was that? Nothing. Just a frog. So, what was that? Nothing. An eel. <laughs> Get out of here. I saw him first. You saw a frog, you lying bastard. I saw him first. That makes him mine. The hell you say? Look, I saw it first. Don't push me. Get out Hey, what you doing down there? She's waiting for the water. Move over. Hey, fellas, the river's full of dollars. Greenbacks floating downstream like autumn leaves. Hey, thousands of dollars float down the river. Let's go get them before they're all gone. You beat it. Go on, beat it. Get out of here. Please, Please. Governor. This is all. I'm doing it. Now get out of here. Let me be. Didn't you hear? The river's full of money. Hmm. What? Money? Amigo! Wait! Wait for us! in the water. 
You think they cover the sky like rain? Those dollars were put there to get you away from the gold. The gold. The gold! Hey, hey, come on, hey, get over there. Hey. Hey. I'm taking you home to your father. Hurry before they get here. Come on. Up you go. Our ranch is a long way. Can't make it today. Guess we better hide out in the hills tonight. Cases of gold. I'll murder every single one of you. They couldn't get far in this short a time. Not with such a heavy load. That's what that stupid marshal said about us. If there was a dung heap around here, I'd dump you all in it head down. Hey, Chico. Maybe the buzzard knows something. They trust, and you paid. But you're still one of us if you want. You hear? Thanks, Chico. It's a pity I can't give you my hand, all friendly like. Someone stole the gold, and a part of it is yours. You know it was. Did you see or hear anything? I only heard the sound of blood. Pounding in my veins. And pain. Pain is loud as thunder. I'm through, Chico. Chew it ten minutes or more, goes down easy. Don't worry about them anymore, it's all over. Tomorrow we ought to be able to make it through the pass. in this poker game, and the aces are all real. But this time, your girlfriend seems to be doing the cheating. We'll play some other games with him later, Paloma. But now he's going to tell us where he's buried our gold. First time I've been sorry for your pa. I reckon you helped Chico for this. If Paloma hadn't started the fire at the ranch, we could never have hoped to capture that place. Huh. To murder innocent souls, corrupt good girls, wearing those old dungarees shiny, pounding leather for miles, and buying yourself a place on the gallows for a few pounds of gold is sure as hell foolish. And to do all that for nothing takes a criminal and a... Bastard and a maniac. Who else but you? 
Hold your fire. He's worth nothing dead. Alive, he's worth two cases of gold. Time up and bring him back to camp. The sun roasts your tongue. I'll give it some thought. This will stimulate your thinking. <laughs> Where's the gold? Answer me, you bastard. The gold. A few pounds of gold matter so much. He'll cook in the sun before talking. We must talk. We must tell us. Find someone that he cares about. Torture them in front of him. That'll make him talk. I know the type. <laughs> Whiskey! Whiskey! Doctor, is there any chance? He's held out this long. Well, don't ask me why. According to the medical books, he's been dead for days. I want the pallbearers to take me to the cemetery to be blind drunk. And I want bottles of whiskey to put candles in. Whiskey. Whiskey. Oh, sorry, that's prohibited. Why, it would kill him instantly. But he's happy only when he's had whiskey. something to drink. Whiskey. How much alcohol do you suppose he's had? In a case like this, medicine is a waste of time. Yeah, that he drinks milk. I bid you good night. There's a man outside who says he's got a message for you from Arizona called. He doesn't want anybody to see him here in town, so you'd best hurry. Stay with Willie. You were sent by Arizona Colt? Could say that. Where shall we start carving this girl? All right. What you say, pistolero? You win, Chico. Where is the gold? You let her go without a scratch. And I'll tell you. I swear, by the sacred blood of my sainted mother, I won't harm her. No, Arizona. He'll kill us anyway. There's a... There's a grotto. I reckon a quarter of a mile from here. On the trail through the mountains. And... And the goal is... Hidden there. Give her a horse and a 
gonna let her go. Arizona! Hey, where are you going? Dirty coward. You can call me a coward. And also, a murderer. I don't care. Muchachos, vamos. We bring back our gold. Got away. There he is, in the shack with a buzzard. Chico, is there a prize for the one that plugs him? You'll share another 10 ounces of gold when we get to Mexico. Don't promise gold, Chico. Promise burial. Yeah.
Let's go. Ain't nobody here except in the buzzard. I'll get that man if he shows his... <laughs> Try to get behind Arizona. Hurry, amigos. Arizona! Afraid to fight like a man? You pay for that. We've got to keep him busy till Jack and Ray can get up there behind him, so keep on shooting all the time. Careful, he'll be coming out. I see him, I think. Either fainted or dead. Better keep fire. Smoke's hiding that wall. Maybe he's climbing it. It wouldn't be easy to scale that rock. We'll spot him in plenty of time if he's there. There! Ray! Look out! Here comes another. I'm afraid this is Jack. the whole valley. Scarface, get on those high rocks. You others over that way, but not together. Divide up. Bigly, to the river. You with him. The others follow me. Come on.
You wipe us out, the bastard. Let's back up the gold and hit the trail. When there's still four of us? How far you think we get with that gold with him still around? We must kill Arizona. Or else, we all die. For the first time, you're making sense, Chico. We may try to surround the hut. Bigly, you cover my back. Move in. <laughs> Arizona, you're completely free to go. All you must agree to leave Paloma alone, and I'd give you my word. Reckon it's all right with me. Might as well go once you're dead. But you left, Chico. You and all of that gold. I warned you it wasn't worth the price you'd pay. By tonight, you'll stink so bad even the coyotes will hold their nose. Chico! His gun is. Chico, it's empty.
whole case against you was a frame-up. They're the ones who knocked over the stagecoach and let you take the blame for it. I'm taking a horse. I figure you owe me at least that. Hey, Arizona! <laughs> Don't your old friends raid even hello? I never did figure I'd see you alive again, partner. But I was dead sure that I was going to find you alive. All right. Pick a horse, Willie, and come on. <laughs> Arizona, please stay with us, won't you? Oh! 